Hello, everybody, and welcome back to No Nostalgia Filter. I have been having kind of a rough day, and so I have decided to make to feel better by making Angelo play more Mr. Quests so that I can laugh at him. Um, I, on the other hand, have calmed down quite a bit since last time, um, and so I feel very confident putting Kaylee back on the auto. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. I also have been having some uh, throat problems, so you might hear me cough a lot. <coughs> like there. Like that, <laughs> yeah. Um, and now we uh, walked out of O-Face um, into uh, more O-Face. We were yeah, inside was... of a tree, uh, fighting smaller trees, if I remember. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, we have gone inside the tree uh, and found other trees... Called live oaks that are clearly dead. Yes. Um, and Trees are weak to axe. If I remember correctly, this tree is blocking the path to Windia for some reason? Right. Um, in other words, we want to go to this place, uh, and we are doing it by... Uh, like, the, the forest is full. It's a forest. It's made of trees. Uh... But, for some reason, the biggest tree in the forest counts as being in our way. Uh, and we need to deal with this enormous tree. Uh, even though there's a whole bunch of, like, much smaller trees that would really be much easier. So basically, no good reason. Yeah. Well, they wanted to... The, the enemies the here are kind of dumb. Um... <clears throat> They, uh, they don't do a whole lot of damage. Though that one did just attack with body odor. Fair enough. Uh, getting a whole bunch of cure potions that I just don't really care much about. No, especially not when Kaylee's with you. Oh, uh, this was another one of those there's no way to tell if you're going the wrong way uh, deals. Yeah. I just wanted to see if it did anything. <laughs> they're, they're snipians. Mm. Oh, but that's it, a that's a pretty strong uh, thing. The claw. Yeah, it's 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 <clears throat> a tier three weapon. Uh, that face is just sad. It doesn't want to have anything to do with us. Yep. You have to. I, I forget what you do to make them open up. See, that was just the wrong thing to do, because she can one-shot the frogs, and I can one-shot the frogs. With her axe! With her axe. So... Where did she get that axe, by the way? I don't know, the axe store? Well, it's a giant's axe, it's the same model as mine. Right, which you just found here. In a, in a treasure chest, so I guess she also found it in a treasure chest. In Aquaria? No, in the Alive Forest. I mean, she talks to trees. She had to have come here at some point, right? How? R RPG logic? It was locked! With the, like, this is a major pop point! Okay. Is that all the ways from one town to the other have been locked what? with the keys that the monsters what stole? What the balls? Because, like, he just did exactly 1,000 damage to me. Which is exactly how much health I have. I mean, that's not enough to get me upset yet. Mm. Um... <laughs> But it seems like it might have been an oversight. And I'm not supposed to be here. Apparently. Mm, try bombing the face. Nope. Pressing button right now. Alright. Mm, I don't know. Well, let's go back the way we came. As one does in this game. Um, <clears throat> go down the middle. Because I saw that. Yeah. Um, beat up these live dead trees. See, same same type of axe. Yeah. Well, right. But she had only got her in Aquaria, right? Where she had gotten to from what's it called? Place where the people used to be old. All right. So, um, Foresta. Sure. Uh, I think that's actually what it was. 
I, you're probably right, cause that's dumb. It's no, it's no more or less dumb than any of the other. Wait a minute! Names. I just, I just went around in a circle. Okay. Uh, I, I, given recent events, I'm not going to comment on going around in a circle. Okay, but, but I kind of see where we have to go. I kind of see where we have to go. Yeah, there's another face down there mm. that'll probably take us up another level. Mm. So, mm. I'm down. I'm taking this calm, okay? I'm not going to go crazy like I did last time. I'm not going to yell at a Hydra. Um, that's, that's good. That's mm. Captain America's job. I don't think he actually does yell. Very bad joke. <laughs> I like that movie. I liked uh, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Yeah, no, that was that was a solid movie. It would it had it had too many thingsism, um, but a lot less than Age of Ultron. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, probably the biggest problem with Captain America: The Winter Soldier is that it had very little to do with Captain America or the Winter Soldier. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> only, only the good parts. But, like, the actual plot was Captain America and Hydra takes over. Mm. Um, yeah, it was, it, was really, it was really a S.H.I.E.L.D. movie. Um, right, and, you know, uh, also uh, chances for acts. That's a, oh, okay. Um, okay. chances for the Black Widow to be cool, which is another thing that Ultron didn't really do. Uh, I, I had problems with Age of Ultron. Like, a lot of my friends really like Age of Ultron, and it was not a an unenjoyable movie. I liked it, I had fun, but whoa, holy shit, did that, did that movie have too many things in some, first of all. Oh yeah, there was, um, I mean... For one, uh, I, I just had certain problems with the movie. Like, why did Ultron bother to kidnap anybody? Yeah. Like, his, uh, his whole deal, the whole movie, was, I'm going to kill the Avengers because killing the Avengers is the only way to keep humanity safe. And then, um, it, he, he, the time comes where he can kill Black Widow, and instead he takes her captive because some dumb reason? Also, like, taking the Black Widow captive is not, that's not supposed to work. Like... Because, like, the one thing, <laughs> she has anti-being taken captive powers. Well, no, you can, you can take her captive, but it's dumb. Like, that's how she was introduced in the first Avengers movie. Someone had taken her captive, uh, and that was, like, her plan, uh, because then she could get all their information out of them and win, basically. And then she did it again to Loki. <laughs> who, I might remind you, is the god of lying. Um, and, like, he ended the scene like, how the fuck did you do He didn't just lose, he lost like, how the fuck did you do that? But then Ultron, um, who has more, like, emotional holes and vulnerabilities than a neurotic Swiss cheese she takes her captive and all she does is look scared at him. Like, I could have I could have manipulated Ultron. Yeah, well it was pretty easy to manipulate Ultron is the thing. Like, just just mention Tony Stark and Right. I mean but here's the thing, I actually for for the things I didn't like in Age of Ultron um, I actually really liked Ultron. I Yo, thought yeah. that I thought that James Spader did a fantastic job. The U Ultron himself was amazing, mm -hmm. and I actually, I mean, I always liked Jarvis, and I liked the Vision too. Um, but like Thor went swimming, which was visually appealing, but otherwise, what the fuck? Um, he went into the plot pool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there was <coughs> there was some guy with a family that they were calling Hawkeye, and I, like he was kind of an interesting character, but I have no idea why they were calling him Hawkeye. Uh, uh, why is that? Like, like I'm actually curious. No, like the, he was introduced as like the obsessed super agent. You know, he Shield is his life. That was good at his job, and that was all he did. Right, and. Um, 
like they kept they kept his friendship with Natasha, which I I would have really hated the movie. That would have that would have been a Harry Potter four mo moment if they hadn't kept that in. But like he's not. He has never acted like someone who has a stable family life. I don't particularly mind that they gave him a stable family life, but um, it did kind of run counter to what he was, well, it was portrayed as before. Yeah, it was it was a really cool character who wasn't any Hawkeye that I've seen before. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, uh, I wouldn't say that he really falls in line with Hawkeye uh, of the comics either. But, like, um, Hawkeye of the comics also wasn't, like, a super agent. No, that's uh, true. Uh, so, like, it, it's kind of like they wanted two different interpretations and they couldn't decide which one to go with. It was fairly... Within the Age of Ultron, it was fairly consistent. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that that wasn't... Like, is why I keep saying that it was... It was that character that they called Hawkeye was an interesting character. It wasn't a bad character. Mm -hmm. um, but it felt weird in a sequel. It was it was sort of like in, in Bewitched, where they changed actors, except it was weird because they didn't change actors. They just <laughs> changed everything else. I can't believe you made a Bewitched reference. How, oh, come on! No. Not getting angry. <laughs> Even though there is basically nothing I could do about that because I healed the exact turn after I get petrified. Zen. I will not give up. Serenity now. Yes. While I make it. Firefly like later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, but, like, I, I get what you're saying. Um, I guess I feel like... So I didn't hate it as much a lot of, uh, as a lot of my friends, but I also didn't like it as, as much as a lot of my friends. I thought that a lot of the dialogue was sloppy. Um, I think um, CinemaSins actually put it best um, when uh, the, Natasha, the, when, when Black Widow says, um, I guess I'm not the only monster on this team. Um, mm -hmm. Like, it's obvious that she's talking about being a trained killer and not being unable to have a kid, but um, it was sloppy to not understand the juxtaposition there, you know? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not completely sure that that's not what that line was supposed to be. It was, it was at least sloppy. I, I mean, it, it was definitely, it was definitely sloppy. Um, and, um, like, I'm, I'm fairly certain because immediately before it, they do talk about um, like the whole scenes oh. about her training. Yeah, no, no, no. no. The part part of it is certainly about like what was done to her to make her the Black Widow, so to speak. Um, and like you know, she's a trained killer. Yeah, she was she was a uh, an assassin for for the KGB. Mm -hmm. Um, which can't have been fun. The heal potion. She had a magic. Uh, anyway, um, but she also pointedly brought up her infertility, uh, in that conversation like 30 seconds ago. No, it, it's true, um, but I think that that was used more sloppily slow, so, but that was used more to characterize what horrible things mm. basically these people were doing to, you know, random girls, um, because the whole idea was, you know, they needed to concentrate on... Oh my god, see, I tried to heal her. At least paral paralyzed wears off, so yeah. it's not an instant. Except they'll eventually stone her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, they, they were characterizing the enemy at that point. Uh, I, like, I, once again, it's sloppy, but they were characterizing the enemy not Black Widow, and I think it was fairly obvious that they were. Um, and, I, and like, I get that people are really upset over it, but, like, I've watched the scene a million times. Um, and people are right to be angry because of how sloppy it was dealt with, but, like, I, I, I really hesitate to immediately call foul 
um, not saying that the scene was well written, but call foul on on Joss Whedon for saying that you know barren women are monsters because like that just um, like it didn't translate. I didn't, I didn't get the impression that that was his intentional message. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's kind and you know I don't I don't really have like. I, I don't want to sound like I have a general problem with Joss Whedon. Um, I don't really believe in, like, taking one example and using that to make general statements about a person's character. I agree. Um, that's not just a, that's just not a place I generally want to go unless the one example is way worse than this. Mm -hmm. Um, but... I think it's kind of telling, at least about society, mm -hmm. that the method he chose to demonstrate... Oh, hey, I got more wizard. Yay! Um... Meteo? Me? Um... <laughs> um... The, the method that they used to demonstrate the monstrosity of this cha this, uh, training, the way they sent that home was... Infertility, or, or or sterilization, or I'm not sure exactly what the the term for it would be. Um, Ster I mean, I don't. I, I guess it would be something like sterilization. I guess, I, I, and, I, and you know, not that it, it isn't a horrible and violating thing to do for someone, and the pre and the presented motives of the villains for doing that mm -hmm. to to, con to maintain their control over a woman were despicable. Mm -hmm. Um. But I, I just I, I think it kind of means something that they that that's how they did it. Mm. I think I'd agree. Uh, like, and I do I don't agree with how they they ended up writing that scene. Um, on this heavy note, though, <laughs> I've gone all the way around a room to get a wizard spell and ended up back where I was before with no idea how to progress forward. All right. So uh, we're gonna figure out how to progress forward. And see you next time on No Nostalgia Filter. Maybe talk about a different movie. Yeah. <laughs> Still can't believe you never saw Clerks. I've seen, like, bits of Clerks. <laughs>